hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Taro and to my channel subscribers thank you so much for coming back today so in today's video I want to talk about this lady called Tamara Kalene who is a beauty influencer with 1.1 million followers on Instagram and um, this is her Instagram page and I just took some pictures from it she was recently burgled um, and all her handbags that she had acquired over the years were stolen and all her jewelry and her watches were stolen um, she said only her shoes and her dresses were left you know and yes yeah, so this got me thinking about what we do when things like this happen and what we should be doing at the moment so I just decided to just talk about this briefly in this video let's hear what she had to say first of all so as many of you know by now and have read in the news my apartment got broken into and everything that I was building for 10 years, everything that I pretty much have got stolen. I personally am very proud of how I handle the situation. If someone told me like before, you know, this is going to happen to you, I, I don't know like what I would say. She went on to talk about her family and friends and people that she's close to and her partner have been there for her at this really difficult time. And how our influencers as well on YouTube and Instagram have reached out to her and how she has been able to get through this you know she talked about the fact that all along she has always put her family and friends above all these things that she possesses and really that's the way it should be you know when we have all this wealth I mean there is nothing that is more important than our family and friends you know um, yes, she did get some very strange comments from people saying things like, oh, you deserve it, um, it's worse things are going to happen to you, this is just the beginning, and all kinds of odd things that people were writing, you know, but then you'll always have people that will say things like that. But she comes across to me like somebody who is very simple, even though she's very, very well, I mean, she's quite, she must be well off. She does look like someone who is, approachable you know and that's what I was thinking about that it's really important to make sure that we are true to our friends and our relationships you know even if we are wealthy you know because that's the most important thing she talked about insurance and the fact that oh, people are saying oh you get it back from insurance but she actually said it that it, most people don't get things back of insurance because they try to make you um they try to make it as difficult as possible for you to to get your um what you're entitled to so there's no guarantee and if we just build our life on possessions then what is our life going to be like you know if all we think about all the time is just acquiring things yes I love nice things as well and all that and many of us do but that shouldn't be our priority you know we should make time for people we should make time for relationships and it's important to keep the friends that you had in your life before you came it's important to keep the friends that you had in your life before you became wealthy, you know, because there are lots of people that are just fair weather friends. Anyway, yeah, so I have this scripture here that says, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And that's from the Bible. And yeah, she did say that prayer has really helped her through this difficult time. So yeah, I was just um, going to share this. And yeah, so it's just... Um, a thought I had you know about it yeah so anyway thank you for watching